Hello everyone, Cradax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where we have plenty of oxygen. Um, however, we are trying to figure out what to do with space. So in between the last episode and this one, I went ahead and dug my way up to space. I've got an airlock here. Um, and yeah, we can build a space platform up here because our goal is petroleum. We could use nectar, but I think petroleum is going to be a lot better. In the long run, nectar still can't get to a super high temperature. So I have no idea how rockets work. Uh, I have never played the Spaced Out DLC. So we're just going to have to figure it out. So I'm going to build my rocket platform maybe, maybe over here. And then we'll have to dig out above it, I guess. I don't really know how this all works. Um, let's just go for it and see what happens. What's the worst that can happen, you know what I mean? I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Uh, I will dig out a little bit of space there because some ethanol is going to fall down. And then... Yeah, I'll probably just have to... Ladder up, dig everything out. I assume that'll work. And they don't have oxygen masks, so they're just hanging out in space. No big deal. No big deal. It's just negative 50 degrees out here. Apparently they don't, uh, <laughs> they don't need pressurized suits. Um, what's up with the temperature here? How did this get so warm? Oh, it's warm because, uh, the ethanol distiller was adding, adding some back in. But I think it should, it should be good now. I think. That's the hope anyway. Uh, how's our hydrogen, or natural gas? Uh, next activity, 2.4 cycles. Perfect. So our gas reservoir did last. Um, I'm a bit worried about power moving forward. I really would like to figure this out. The problem is I'm just not sure how to do it. I feel like the dupes are going to get scalded and dead, and I don't know how to fix that. Because the Atmo suits that we have, if I can find it, this one, uh, it can only handle... Well, I don't remember where the page is, but it can only handle, like, what? Yeah, plus 700 degrees Celsius, so the scalding threshold is still not great. What about the jet suit? That doesn't fix it either. So you can just never... Interesting. You can never handle 1,500 degrees. You just can't. I mean... Fair. Fair enough, I guess. So I don't really know how you're supposed to break into a temperature area like this, then. But... I don't know. Should I try? I can try. Let me build a door. Um, I mean, an airlock will at least stop the flow of gas. But they're just going to get scalded as soon as they go in here. So I need another Atmo suit. I did capture... I think this was in between episodes as well. I captured another Bamoth. Um, because I do need some fiber. I don't need a ton of it. But I think we can probably keep one Bamoth fed with the wild... I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plume squashes. And they take 36 cycles to grow, so that's a plume squash every four days. I think that's enough to keep a Bamoth alive. Um, how much do you metabolize? 1,700 kcals per cycle. And a plume squash is... 4,000, so actually no, they need one like every two days. Jeez, they're hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos, huh? Um, 
there are more plume squashes up here. It's a lot of mammoth patties. There's one over here. Access that one and get some iron on the way. This cool salt slush geyser, I think, is going to be important. I have, I have a feeling that will be important. To long-term success. And then there's also this one that's emitting at a temperature of 95, so that's adding a lot of potential heat. Um, so that's also interesting. Definitely automate that at some point. I want to work on this. I, I just don't know how to how to get it right. I don't know how to get it right. Um, so we'll need a steam chamber. Maybe I start with building the top part. And we put the... The doodad there. Uh, metal refinery has no power. Yeah, this aqua tuner is just eating so much of the power. Problematic. Um, I think I need a second natural gas generator. We're gonna unlock this for now. I'm gonna make some changes here. Gonna get some more mesh tiles. construct those ladders. So yeah, we just basically want to be able to charge up the batteries faster. Because the 800 watts just isn't enough. And while I'm at it, I feel like I should also copy this guy. Make another one. Um... Yeah. Can I rotate? No. And someone in the YouTube comments, thank you, someone, I'm so sorry I forget your name, I didn't write it down, um, told me about this beautiful pipe disconnect tool, so check this out. Uh, I need a gas bridge. Um, yeah, that should work. So check this out. I don't know how I never saw this. It's this disconnect button. It's probably because it's shears, so I maybe thought that was plant related. I never looked closely. But disconnect gas pipes. Bloop. Now they're not connected anymore. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that freaking amazing? I, I've tried so many times not uh, to do that exact thing, but sort of to do that exact thing. So if I go to liquid pipes, I can finally disconnect these. I've never been willing to do it because it would spill ethanol everywhere, but I can just do that, and then it works the way I want it to. Isn't that amazing? Wow, can't believe I didn't know about that. Very, very handy. Okay, so another natural gas generator. Make it out of iron ore. Um, it's a little problematic, actually. Maybe I need it over here. Because of this heavy watt wire, I forgot about that. Needing to be heavy watt. Ventilation gas pipe. Just do that. And this. And that should be all we need. Connect that up. Get some more mesh. And I will priority six on all this construction. I guess I can... No, I'll keep that. I might put one there later. Oh, and then the automation wire. Yes, yes, yes. Needs to be controlled by the same circuitry as that one. And we are looking pretty good. Now, the problem with this design is the generators can run faster than the pump than the average geyser output. So this makes it more likely that we run out of natural gas during an off cycle. 
Um, in which case I'll run out of power and my whole base will grind to a halt. So that sounds fun. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe I disable a natural gas generator when it goes back to its dormancy cycle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best plan of action is there. This is all so chaotic, isn't it? Okay, so now we're cooling this area. So it's 31 degrees, and I have that set to 30 degrees. Okay. And then once it's cooled off enough, it comes back in here. Yep, but then that warms up the output, so then we need to send more to the Aqua Tuner using even more power. So basically, I'm using power right now to, uh, to cool the metal refinery, which is a very expensive process. Doubly so when I'm using freaking ethanol, which has a heat capacity half that of water. And so what that means is our Aqua Tuner is only basically getting half as much cooling as water would get. So there's another reason we need petroleum, because petroleum has a higher specific heat capacity, I think. No, no, it's 1.76. I think that's actually the same as ethanol, isn't it? Uh, no, that's 2.4. Ethanol is actually better than petroleum for this particular purpose. Um, now, the petroleum, though, we just need to cycle from the metal refinery. The aqua tuner coolant is the one you want to have the most range for specific heat capacity. Or, sorry, the highest number, not most range. Petroleum, you want a high range so it can get hot and boil the water in here. But uh, they'll get this stuff done eventually. We're officially out of natural gas, so it's convenient that that's starting up right now. But, pipe's blocked. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I actually need those to be connected. Never mind, it can go to both. It doesn't really matter if it fills one up before the other. Yeah, I guess I was thinking I could have it flow from the output of this one back into the input of that one. I could do that. But that doesn't make it a ton of sense. It's not really necessary to do it that way. I think it can be parallel rather than in series. Right, get that done. And how's stuff up here? Nobody, nobody died, so that's good. I didn't get any alerts about scalding or whatnot, so I think I think we more or less got that figured out. Our bonbon bon trees are making nectar here. I'm gonna have priority six on those so that gets done. Cause that's our only our only uh starvation. What? I don't understand that. How does that happen? Why are you starving? There's plenty of food. Oh, another thing someone told me that I didn't know is... You can deconstruct that. Um, every dupe needs its own mess table. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six more. Um, I did not know that. I can actually deconstruct those because there's a door right there now. Those can all be part of the same room. And what's our, what's our temperature? Ration box is still negative 15. Did I just make a refrigerator? I think I have one now, right? Do I have a refrigerator? Eh, 120 watts is way too expensive to run constantly. I don't think that's worth it. Okay, now we got both generators running. Sweet! Uh, problematically... They're not... 
Why is only one on? Oh, because I did that thing with the pipes again. They don't work that way. Um, it needs to go like that. And these need to be disconnected. Yeah, you can't... It's weird. It can't output onto the same material, even though, like, a gas bridge could. Get that done. And then we will get free stuff. A snazzier green suit. Wow. Decor 40. Um, Jonathan, do you have frostproof? No. Interesting. Meta Mike does. So Meta Mike can wear the snazzier green suit. There you go. Alright, there we go. There we go, there we go. Now the natural gas is building up again. Wonderful. Reservoir built. That'll build up. So then we'll have two tons of natural gas in storage. Which sounds like a lot, but it, it goes fast. It goes fast. Alright, this is a long project, but they'll get done with it eventually, I guess. Alright, we're doing it. I'm beginning the figuring out of all this. Uh, this could go very, very poorly. Um... We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna make this a normal floor so it doesn't melt because this area is gonna get hot. Uh, I should probably deconstruct these temp shift plates because they're not really helping anymore. This area is not cooled by its surroundings. It's now cooled by a thermo aqua tube. And yeah, we're gonna be letting a lot of heat out here, unfortunately. I wish there was an insulated airlock. I know there are ways to do that, but... Like a vacuum would be one. But yeah, I'm just... I'm a little concerned on how this is all going to work. And how are we going to get water in there? Oh, man. Um, maybe I start with this part. And I keep all the abyssalite intact. Because the obsidian has a far higher conductivity. That's going to really boil the hell out of everything. Um, so we'll keep the abyssalite intact. And then I will let out, let out this stuff. And then we're just gonna need some more, we're gonna need some more water in there. Looks like we're getting more meltage here. This ice is, yeah, melting pretty fast. Um, yeah, we'll get this built. Insulated tiles, we'll get our steam turbine operational. And then I'm gonna need plumbing, insulated pipe to there with a vent. What's the melting temperature of iron? Um, iron ore, properties, melting point, 1534. 
Which, this is hot enough down here. I mean, it, they won't equalize, so it's fine, but that's crazy to me. More starvation. Don't totally get it. Nine. I still need two more of these. Mess hall, great hall. What's the difference? Fancy decor building. Decor item, recreational building. Uh, what do I have for recreation? Does a water cooler count? Let's say recreational building. Um... So, I can remove that, and build one of these. Hmm. What's happening here? Oh, the, the gases are now, the hot gases are now escaping. And this stuff is all melting. Wonderful. Um, I need a priority six on all this. Edison, are you gonna get scalded in here? Yep. Yeah, you are. Now, is polluted water... I forget. When polluted water boils, it makes some dirt. Honestly, that's fine. The dirt will just turn into sand, and I'll just have sand sitting in here. Um, so I'm okay with that. So it's fine that there's polluted water in here. The ethanol is the only problematic part. I don't know steam versus ethanol gas, like which one's gonna float. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know the answer to that. Yep, that's hot. I get it. Although it should cool off um, here in a minute because the insulated tiles are built now. But you're just going to keep getting scalded for a minute, I think. I'm surprised this ice isn't getting hotter faster. It's equalizing. It just takes some time. And a mic, you're getting damaged big time. Uh, I think I'm gonna send Mike to the, the triage pod. Shouldn't this automatically happen? If I put it at high priority, will Meta Mike show up? I have to manually assign. There's some triage. A lot of temperature taking going on. <laughs> yeah, the problem is I don't have more jet suits. Or Atmo suits. Atmo suits would help here. It's just a little, a little toasty in here. Actually, not even that crazy hot. What's the default scalding temperature? Oh, there's also high pressure in here. That might be what's going on. Scalding. Toasty. Alright, for now, let's lock that. We'll deal with all that in a minute. Oh, did we get more? Can I make an Atmos suit, finally? Yay! I can make three? I'll make two. Kind of iron expensive. Speaking of iron, I always need more iron.
And I will need some steel for temperature exchange on this thing. I'm running out of lime, which is bothersome. I guess I can always go get another fossil. Because I think I've processed all the fossil, right? Yeah. Alright, Metamike's basically back to normal. Time for Edison to get your your health up. Yeah, you went down below 50%. Jeez. And then I guess I can go to station. Atmosuit checkpoint. Going this way. There. Get some tiles. We need ventilation. Um, yeah, so this. Hmm. What was that? Oh. Yeah, I think that makes, what, is that carbon dioxide, maybe? I can't remember. All right, gas bridge goes the other way. And then, should do it. Oh, and then power. I need power. We can take 120 watts when they're charging. Sweet. Okay, well that should help with the scalding issue, I think. Ice or rust? I don't really care about either. I've got plenty of ice. Guess I'll take free rust. forgot to lock this again, so they're just endlessly... Now, hold on. That means they're sweeping. Oh, because it's priority six. Ugh. The polluted ice dropper. I forgot to lock this. Problematic. Alright. Somebody lock this right now. No! Glam, you're gonna get stuck! Frickin' heck. <sighs> this is the worst. You know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> this is so annoying. Um, I'm just gonna fix this. We're gonna deconstruct it. We're gonna put it in the freaking manual airlock so I can decide when that happens. Um, mechanized airlock, and then automation wire, signal switch, there we go, problem solved. Because yeah, they're just literally running it all the way over to this storage bin. It's constantly creating polluted ice when they're running. So how did water get up here? This is not cold enough or warm enough to melt. I'm genuinely confused. Maybe there was a maybe it was a piece of ice like that. Let me sweep that. 
Storage unavailable. Maybe I should make a sweep only ice bin or something. So I have somewhere to put it. Okay. There we go. That's locked. Nobody goes in. Well, it happened again. I'm not sure how polluted water got here. Because again, it, it never said a dupe made a mess. So I just, I don't know where this all keeps coming from. I'm pretty sure there weren't any chunks of polluted ice here that could have been problematic. Also, we're finally getting close to 100 temperature, which means steam will be created. And then this can start running at 125 and adding adding power to the mix. I also just realized I never put a uh, thermosensor in here. That's important. I'm gonna have a thermo and a signal switch. But that does mean I'm gonna need to open that up again. One last time. And then I probably... Yeah, that's gonna let all the gas in, unfortunately. Um, but once that's built, I probably need to insulate that. Now that that's built, we lock it. And then we just build insulation over it. If above 150, why not? All right, we got our Atmo suit finally. And it's getting filled up with some oxygen here. So hopefully our dupes can now carry out those tasks successfully. We gotta turn on this gas pump again to get all the CO2 out of here. I like to watch it go from grams to micrograms. Five grams. There it is. Micrograms. Or milligrams, sorry. Milligrams is first, then micrograms. And then I don't know what the smallest amount is, but it's probably like 0.1 micrograms, I'm guessing. And then the 10 milligrams. There's micrograms. And yeah, it'll start turning into a vacuum pretty soon, I think. 500 micrograms. 200 micrograms. 100. 50 micrograms. Yeah, there's no decimals on these, so I think one microgram is the smallest unit of gas possible. And there's the vacuum. Boom. Okay. So we've got our vacuum, and eventually things will warm up and become steam. Speaking of steam, we did it. We did it, we did it. This is all ready to go in here. I think, technically, 
I'm gonna do that so stuff stops flowing out. Okay, so I think if I just build a single metal tile here, I think we'll start to get steam in here. It doesn't melt till 1534, so we should be okay. I don't think it'll immediately get that hot. So there's a chance. There's a chance. There might not be enough water in here. Um, let me... What is it? It's called utilities. Let me build a ice temp shift. In there. So we can get a bit more fluids. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're making steam. Oh yeah, we're making steam. That tile's nice and hot. But it brought that one down to 500 degrees real quick. Okay. No, don't let the steam out. Of course it then condenses. Um... I should have mechanized airlocked here as well. So I can decide what happens in there. Um, yeah, I was worried about the moppage in here. Okay, there we go. So we can get that all mopped. And then I'm gonna need heavy watt wire connection over to the main, main line here. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right, now close that. Oh no! Scalding. Oh, you're okay. You're fine. You're fine. Rub some dirt on it. Okay, sweet. So that will help. I probably should insulate a tile right there. And right there. That ice is probably gonna melt. I'll preemptively deconstruct all that. Green signal if above 150, sure. Okay, so now we need power, heavy watt, wire. You run up, over, and then over. Problem is I don't want the dupes allowing themselves to go over there normally, so what I'll have to do is use a join plate. Okay, so if we're looking at temperatures here, we can see that the obsidian, it's not having an amazing speed reaction, you know, to cool off. Um, oh, it's working. It's working. Um, so yeah, I'm not a million percent sure that we're doing everything the way we want to be doing it, but it's looking pretty good so far. How much steam does it consume, the turbine? Does it tell me? Maybe. Maybe not. I guess we can find out by this. So it's two kilograms a second. So if we've got 50 kilograms per square of steam, we're more than fine. Sweet. We just have free power now. Hmm. 
Now, the problem is, it's producing heat itself. So, it's kind of a weird... Like, I know there's such a thing as a self-cooled steam turbine. I can't remember how that all works. I guess, what's its overheat temperature? 1050. So, if we were to just pipe its own liquid kind of radiantly past it, then it should work pretty well. To keep it cooled off underneath 100. But then that's gonna start heating up the rest of the base pretty significantly. Um, maybe I insulate the chamber that it's in for now. At least somewhat insulate. I wish we had... I guess uranium would be the thing to build it out of, but that's a lot of uranium. That's not cheap. Okay, so this is gonna cool off faster than I thought. I guess we'll just slowly dig our way down in? I don't know. We're also only dealing with one tile here. Um, once I dig out this section, that'll all be exposed. Because the wider of a path you have, the more heat can be transferred. Like total DTUs. We don't have cinnabar ore. Whoops. Um, so we need to make this out of iron ore. Whoopsies. Power. Heavy watt. Iron ore. There we go. Um, there is a bunch more cinnabar over here. I should just go collect that. This is a lot of cinnabar. And then I can get even more after that. Alright, get this finished, please. Yes, there we go. Now we're getting free power. And I also... So I guess I need the smart battery. Do I need a different smart battery to control it? Because I think I'd rather use... Which one do I want to use first? The, the heat energy? Or the natural gas? Or should I just share? Which one's more renewable? They both feel infinitely renewable. The obsidian one, or the magma one, is a little more complicated because... I eventually have to collect it with a sweeper, right? Because the hot magma comes out, touches a metal tile, cools something off, uh, cools off, turns into solid rock. You know, its freezing point is at 1400. And then once it turns into solid rock, then we need to, like, radiant conveyor rail. You know, I don't even know how to do all that. Um... So, yeah, I'm not exactly certain how we're going to do all that. So that is a little more complicated. Um, I'm actually okay with the water here. It's going to help keep, uh, keep the temperature regulated on the steam turbine.
So yeah, we'll sweep up that stuff. And yeah, I think I want a battery. So this goes from 90 back up to 98 with the natural gas generators. And then I think I want this one to be... Oh, we're going to need an AND gate, by the way. Shoot, I don't have that researched. Um, or gate, AND gate. There we go. Okay, we need an AND gate. Basically, I need this to be on, and I want um, the signal from a battery to be on. So I will build the smart battery here. Change the solid mercury. Oh, oh, I just don't have enough iron after that. That scared me. Like, no, do not build a battery out of freaking mercury. That's a terrible, that's a terrible idea. Absolutely awful, awful idea. Um, it would melt immediately. Okay, well, I probably need to call this an episode, but we've we've got our first steam turbine actually up and running for more renewable power, which feels really good to help power that stupid aqua tuner. And, um, yeah, more renewable power is great. It's still quite a bit a ways away from being renewable, but, you know, we'll, we'll get... What is being damaged here? Uh-oh. Is it a temperature thing? Oh, it's probably a temperature thing. Um... What I need to do... Uh, and there's so much hot steam in here. This is problematic. This is problematic. Can I... Here we go, okay. Hold on, hold on. I need to deconstruct this. I, I need a vacuum. And so the way we do that is with three airlocks in a row. And that should be reachable once this is deconstructed. Oh. Yeah, so that's reachable now. So then that'll get constructed, and then I'll build insulated tiles back again. At least that one needs to go there. And right now they're all conducting heat. But what I should be able to do is open that one once the tile's there, and then it'll be a vacuum, right? Because doors displace gas when they're closed. So then when they open and there's no gas that can come in, then we should be good to go. So that should create a vacuum. So we'll stop transferring an absurd amount of temperature here. It really is interesting that you can't... Is there another kind of door that I've missed? There's a bunker door, and that's it. Yeah. Airlocks, bunker doors. It's very interesting there's no insulated door. They're all made out of metal. Okay, so we got the... I know I said it was going to be the end of an episode soon, and here we are. Not... Oop. Meant to rotate. Okay, so I actually want... This thing... I guess I'll line it up like this. And then I disconnect automation... There. Like that. 
Construct you, construct you, and then that goes on. Okay, we're going to call it an episode there. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.